hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a testing video we are testing the Aldi Lahura um, setting powder it has been said to be a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder so we are testing them to see which is which so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to past me who's gonna show you the differences and then yeah we will compare and I will give you my final verdict so what we're going to do is we're going to compare these two powders. I've got no powder on. I've literally just put foundation on, concealer, and done my eye makeup. So we're going to put the powder on next. So I've got my Laura Mercier here. I'm not actually going to be using this one because this one's new, but I just got it out to sort of compare packaging. I've got a little one that I'll be using, but same stuff, same stuff. So this is the Laura Mercier, and then we have the Aldi. And usually with Aldi dupes, you know what it is based on looking at the packaging. Um, they're not shy. They're not um, pretending that they're not copying things. They are pretty much blatant. So, I mean, look at the components. Look at that. Yes, it's got the Lacura branding. Yes, it's not like obviously a fake product. Um, but even down to, I know it's not identical, but it's got frosted plastic at the bottom and so has the Laura Mercier. They've both not got the same colour top, but they've both got like a darker top. The only thing is the Aldi one is matte, so they're trying to not be identical. They got themselves in a bit of bother recently over, um, I think it was a Charlotte Tilbury setting power. Uh, um, highlighter or something like that so they're trying not to be identical but they are very similar this is different inside though I think well saying that I haven't opened the other one so I don't know it's, it's like a typical pot with the small holes square holes same square holes I'm not obviously gonna open this because it is new I'm going to use my little mini that I'm still using up. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Laura Mercier and I'm just going to do half my face. So I'm going to sort of do this half with Laura Mercier and then I'll do that half with La Cura. So I'm going to use two different brushes so that it's a bit uh, more sort of scientific. Um, this is a recent brush that I got. This is a Real Techniques brush. I think it's only been used once. Doesn't seem like there's any excess powder on it. So we're going to go with this one. I'm literally just going to pat this all over my skin. And I will just do like the rest of my um, base makeup just so that you can sort of see the difference once I've got like full makeup on. I probably should have done the oldie side first, but... I don't know why I always end up with setting powder in my hair, but I do! <laughs> So there we are, there's that side. So that's a sort of like non-powdered side. And that's the powdered side. You can see it does look more um I doubt it's got rid of a lot of the eye bags. It just in my opinion I look younger on this side because it's kind of like sort of almost blurred some of my uh, wrinkles and lines and things. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side with a different brush. If I can find one that's cleanish. So this is a Luxie tapered highlighting brush. I know it's not the right brush for the job, but it's clean. So I want to, you know, be... Oh, sugar. So I've just, took the... I've just tipped this upside down and shook it and look how much came out. Oh my goodness. That does not happen normally with Laura Mercier. You have to really shake it. So, hmm, I'm not a fan of the packaging so far. <laughs> but let's, let's see how 
it goes. It is floating on the wind, which would suggest to me that it's quite a light product. Although it does feel heavier than the Laura Mercier, I must admit. And I can't really see myself in my mirror because my mirror is now covered in powder. Give it a wipe. And with Laura Mercier, you can put a ton on and it doesn't feel drying or anything. Even though I've got dry skin, it's never an issue. I'm just sort of comparing sides and I cannot see a difference. I can't see a difference at all. Maybe in editing I'll be able to see a difference, but I can't really in my mirror. There's an ever so slight colour difference, but not enough that you'll be like, well, you've got two different colours on your face. I think just like the Laura Mercier side looks darker, but it might just be the ring light sort of, you know, this side's more shadowy. So what I'm going to do is I will just finish off my face so I'll do um, bronzer, contour, blusher, stick a bit of lipstick on just so that it's sort of finished and we will see whether or not once it's all finished whether you can sort of tell the difference or not. I'm just going to put that up there because loads came out and I don't know what to do with it now. So for contour I'm using this Rimmel Kate contour kit. I really like this. I think it's really pretty. It's not too pigmented. It's very buildable. And I just don't think it looks too bad on my pale skin. I'm going to also see how this sort of goes on over the powder on each side. See if it works better on one side than the other. Got hairs. I honestly haven't noticed a difference so far. No, no difference so far. Um, I'm going to try out this bl um, blusher that I got in a recent Black Friday haul. It's by Milani. It looks so pretty. This is Berry Amore. And see if I like it. They are supposed to be well rated, these products, by um, Milani. Ooh, I do like that. That is really pretty. Please that I picked that up. That's like my first ever Milani product and it is really, really nice. Mm, I really like that. It's really, really pretty. The bronzer I use is this one. It is the e.l.f. Um, Sunkist Glow Bronzer. And I just, it's the only sort of bronzer I've found so far that kind of works well for my skin tone. It is quite pale, but I am actually really using it up. It's getting quite a big dip in it. But I have got backups because if you like a product, well, if I like a product, I have backups. Because, yeah, I just can't bear the thought of running out. So yeah, I've got I got backups recently of this bronzer, so I'm not too concerned that I've used it to death. I don't think this blush is coming out well on camera. In real life, it looks stunning. But I just don't think it's showing up that well on camera, how beautiful it is. I would highly recommend this blusher to anyone that likes sort of berry shades. Red, so we've bronzed, we've contoured, we've 
blushed highlighter now this is my favorite thing so we're gonna go in with this one and this is the becca opal which looks like this it's so pretty i'm gonna do a little swatch for you as well because it is beautiful so we're gonna go in with that and we're gonna use my um trusty zoeva brush my zoeva highlight brush Ooh, so pretty. I think I went in a bit heavy handed there, but hey ho. Some days you just want a bit of highlight. So I've just added one of my favourite MAC lipsticks and it is um, Blankety, which looks like this. It is such a stunning colour. I love it. It's my favourite um, nude MAC lipstick. There are other nudes that I do like too. There's a really, really nice one from Revolution, which is the... Um, it's called Stripped and it's in the gold packaging with the... Um, leopard print i also really love one from lipstick queen so i do like a variety of lipsticks but i'm very very sort of nude subtle light nude kind of a girl i just think i always end up with dramatic eyes and i do think that a nude lipstick sort of balances the situation i think sometimes when you have a bright lipstick and, and bold eyes it can be a bit much but that's just my personal opinion and that's what i like on myself um you know if you like big you know sort of dramatic eyes and dramatic lips then go for it because at the end of the day you know there's no rules you can do what you like with makeup as long as you like it that is all that matters anywho let's have a look at the size of my face so this side is laura mercia and this side is aldi and to look at i don't think there's much in it not really feel wise though now it's settled in now i've got my other bits and pieces on i don't like the feel of the um aldi side as much the laura mercier side when if you've never tried laura mercier powder it feels like you've got no makeup on so you could like if you've ever used well if you do use powder and you've ever sort of like caked your makeup on then caked your, your powder on and you feel like you're wearing a bit of a mask on your face you can sort of feel it all day long that's what this side feels like whereas this side um it feels like i'm not wearing any makeup this side feels like a bit like i am I'm not saying it looks cakey it looks lovely it looks fine i think it's just because it's a heavier powder and um, I've got used to using Laura Mercier and with Laura Mercier you can just keep piling it on, piling it on, piling it on because I don't like that tacky feeling that people, um, some people don't mind because some people like a glowy foundation. I don't like that feeling of like the wet foundation-y feeling so I always have to put a ton of powder on and with Laura Mercier you can keep putting it on and you never get any sort of like issues. It never goes cakey, it never goes, it's almost like it sets it but it kind of disappears there isn't powder on your face anymore even though you've put it on i don't really understand how it works but it doesn't feel like there's powder on your face even when you've put an absolute ton on whereas this side feels like a t more like a traditional powder it was heavier because when i shook it loads it all just came out whereas when you do that with laura mercy you have to really shake it to get some out because it's so fine so light it just doesn't come out quite the same so yeah but saying that overall i would say if i had never tried laura mercy yet i would say this is probably my favorite um powder so far um I did have sort of a hierarchy of powders and it went Laura Mercier, then it went Coty Airspun 
and then since then I've tried a Revolution one and that was one that was in a kit, a Christmas kit from last year that I got in B&M and then it went Laura Mercier Revolution Coty and now I think it's going to go Laura Mercier Revolution and La Cura, then Coty and up until I tried Laura Mercier which was probably only June this year Coty was up here and Coty was the best I'd ever tried and I've tried a lot of powders um so yeah I am very very impressed for the price point because they are big packages this Laura Mercier one full price is £30 and the um, Aldi one is I think six or seven pounds it might be five i think it's either 5.99 or 6.99 but i'm not 100 percent sure but this is 30 quid and this has 29 grams let's just grab this aldi one does it say it doesn't say oh now i've just poured it all over my side that's what i mean it's kind of gushy um where's the box So, so this is slightly smaller, it's 25 grams, so it is a smaller product but not by a lot, so you know, it's not really going to make that much of a difference, but you know, if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend the £30 on a powder or possibly can't, um, it's not always can't, it's sometimes it's just you don't want to, Why? you know, it's a lot of money to spend on something that is just like 29 grams of powder in a jar, do you know what I mean? But I personally think it's worth it. However, if you're not one of those people that wants to spend that kind of money, I do think the older dupe is a great alternative. So I would recommend it to you. Um, yeah, really, really rate it. So yeah, um, quick last go, see if you can see any differences. I can definitely feel the difference, but to be honest, I can't really see much of a difference, so that shows it's a great product. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a video again soon. Bye!